Now, all the shortcuts don't help you if you write bad or incorrect code. But here again, modern IDEs or editors like Visual Studio Code have you covered. You get a lot of auto-completion here. Let's say here with our create and write output method. If I want to use this method, let's say I would want to call it here, I can type create and write, or just create in my case, and I get suggestions. I get suggestions of functions or variables that I could use here that basically include the word create. And they don't just have to start with it, they include it anywhere. It doesn't even have to be one word as you can see with the suggestions down there. All properties or functions that include the characters I just typed in the right order will be shown here. And then the suggestions are narrowed down the more I type. So that's really useful because that allows you to write code quicker. For example, here I can just type create. The IDE intelligently guesses that I probably mean create and write output. Otherwise I could select a different option. And then all you have to do is tap enter or tab to use that and to complete that word, which of course saves you the hassle of writing it all on your own. So that's much faster. Now, in addition, you also find a short description of what you're going to use here on the right. Here, for example, you see that this is a function, that is the name, and that this function will take a couple of arguments, which of course allows you to find out if that is the function you really wanna use here. Some functions and properties, especially the built-in ones, even have short descriptions attached to them, which you then also find here in the panel on the right to learn more about it and learn more about uh, what this will do for you. So this is very important and really helpful. You also get something similar if you, for example, add a dot after an object, or in this case here, after an array, which turns out to be an object. If you add a dot here, you get this auto completion that offers you a list of all the properties or functions you can access on this object, like the push function here, which allows us to add a new entry. Then you get a short description of it here on the right. You see the arguments it takes. The syntax might not fully be clear at this point, but that's not a problem. We'll dive more into arrays later. And you see that an array, for example, has way more methods or way more functions attached to it. And I'll dive into way more of them in a separate module focused on arrays. So this dot notation also comes with great auto-completion. And by the way, if this menu ever closes or you accidentally close it, if you want to bring it back, of course you can delete the dot and add another one. But you can also just use a shortcut, which by default should be control space. And this will bring up this suggestions menu again. So this is another core feature, which I would recommend that you use. You can also hover over things and you'll get a short description of what this is and what this does. For example, that push is a function. It's called method here and I'll come back to what the difference is, but it's essentially a function and you see what it does. So this is also helpful. You can hover over things to learn a bit more about it. And when you call a function, like let's say create and write output and you enter the parentheses, you by default get this parameter help here where you see all parameters and the value which you now need to provide for the first parameter is even highlighted here so that you know that whatever you're going to type now will be received on this operator parameter. And once you enter this and you add a comma, you see that now the next parameter is highlighted. Now that's really convenient. If you ever close this menu for some reason, you also get a shortcut for this. So let's quickly check this and maybe just type parameter here. What we see is we got this trigger parameter hints shortcut, which is this combination, shift command space in my case. So if I now type shift command space here, you see this menu reopens. So that's all really convenient. So these are the core features you should be aware of and you should experiment with and you should leverage because that helps you write correct code faster and without errors. And that's always something you wanna do, of course.